AMD just officially claimed that their next-gen GPUs will beat NVIDIA's next-gen. But before I get to that, NVIDIA's supercards look to be delayed, Intel is doing the unthinkable, and NVIDIA's first-ever desktop CPU is finally releasing. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 50 Super GPUs look to be delayed. As many of you know, pretty much all leaks have pointed to NVIDIA's upcoming refresh with way more memory, higher clocks, all that good stuff. They were set to launch this year. Well, according to a very trustworthy leaker, they have now been delayed. Of course, this is more of a behind the scenes delay given it was never actually announced. It sounds like Nvidia did actually plan it for this year, but something may have happened that forced them to wait. Either way, currently a lot of people believe that it could be around CES of next year, which isn't too bad given that's in early January. But still, it sucks to wait. But first, it's the best time of year because September is Micro Center's overstocking clearance sales event. And they sponsored today's video so I can tell you all about it. Well, for one, if you've never been, Micro Center is the one place on earth that has everything you could dream of for your PC build. I mean, they have parts for a custom water cooling loop. So you know they have loads of motherboards, memories, CPUs, GPUs, everything. But back to their September event. Like it sounds, they have amazing deals on a ton of PC hardware, like this 4TB Crucial Memory for nearly $100 off, or this tempered glass case for just 60 bucks. Really, they have a ton of stuff. And to make things even better, they're opening new stores all the time, with their next store being in Phoenix, Arizona. And when you visit my link in the description, you can get a free 128 gig flash drive when they open. Just visit that link to get your coupon. And check out all those deals in the links in the description but you've only got this month to get them, so hurry before they're gone. And next up for today, Intel has done the unthinkable. They actually released an old CPU as if it were new. And I mean really old, like 14 nanometer plus 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 old. As you can see right here, it's called the Intel Core i5-110. And in case you thought I wasn't serious about it just launching, it only launched Q3 of this year. And it's a six core, 12 thread CPU with a max turbo frequency of 4.3 gigahertz. Yeah, you might notice that that's pretty terrible. And that's because this is a Comet Lake CPU. You can even see here that it is based on 14 nanometers. And this is actually a desktop CPU for $200. And for those who may not remember, Comet Lake actually means that this is their 10th generation CPUs. So Intel's doing even worse than what we originally thought. I mean, this is just sad, really. Besides all of the massive layoffs that they've been doing, their own new CEO just recently stated that it's too late for them to catch up with AI competition and that they're not even in the top 10 semiconductor companies. And before you start gloating, I've made this point multiple times now, but even if you only love AMD, you want Intel to stick around. If AMD becomes a monopoly in the x86 space, they'll begin doing exactly what Intel did. So this really is not good news. Next up, NVIDIA's first ever desktop CPU is finally releasing. If you remember, we originally thought that ASUS was releasing the first system with the chip back in July, but unfortunately that was just an announcement or it really seemed more like a delay. But regardless, we now have a very exciting new post from NVIDIA themselves about their DGX Spark. Now, you might not be all that excited about the DGX Spark because it's mostly made for AI, but but don't forget that the N1X was recently leaked in a benchmark and it's essentially identical to the GB10 inside the DGX Spark. We're talking 48 compute units and 20 cores. You can see right here, total of 20 cores. And of course, the N1X is NVIDIA's consumer desktop chip. So this really is an important release, not just because it's NVIDIA's first real foray into desktop CPUs. Either way, moving back to that post, it says, 
Reservations for NVIDIA's DGX Spark, your own desktop AI supercomputer, close in less than a week. Get ready to quote Spark something big. Basically, NVIDIA is confirming that their GB10 is finally about to release, and the pre-orders are showing shipment on September 30th. So we'll finally get a chance to see what NVIDIA can do. And lastly for today, AMD just officially claimed that their next-gen GPUs will beat NVIDIA's next-gen. Not just this generation, but their future stuff. And these are, of course, very bold words, but it's clear that AMD has something big up their sleeve. This story originally comes from a Goldman Sachs event, where their executive VP and GM of Data Center Solutions business unit made a huge claim about their upcoming MI 450 GPU. Now, I know that this is an AI accelerator, but I'll explain how this ties into gaming. Plus, even if it didn't, this is huge news because it means that AMD could finally break up NVIDIA's monopoly in the AI space. So let's go over this. As you can see here, he states, quote, it's all accumulating in our MI450 generation, which we're launching next year, where that is for us our no asterisk generation, where we believe that we are targeting having leadership performance across the board, any sort of AI workload, be it training or inference. He goes on to state that the third generation of Epic CPUs is the one where we targeted having no excuses, where it was the best CPU for an x86 workload, period, full stop. We're trying to view and plan for MI450 to be the same. It will be, we believe, and we are planning for it to be the best training, inference, distributed inference, reinforcement, learning solution available on the markets. And as they state, if you're wondering whether this just means NVIDIA's current AI GPUs, Nord is clear that MI450 will best not just the current NVIDIA Blackwell architecture, but it's next gen. You can see it says, we're going to be there at the same time as Vera Rubin. And we're going to be there with that part that's fully performing. So he's flat out stating that this will not only be better than Blackwell, but also NVIDIA's next-gen Rubin. Now, the reason this is still important for gamers is for one, because AMD has already confirmed that their next-gen uDNA architecture is set to be a unified architecture across gaming and compute, AI, all of that. Meaning if the MI450 is awesome, the gaming cards likely will be as well. Not only that, but this really lends more credence to Moore's Law's dead leak, which shows us a monster high-end AI card, and then of course the desktop card being a monster as well. Basically, if what AMD is saying ends up being true, it almost certainly means the same for their highest-end gaming cards. Let's just say this is really getting exciting.